Canadian doctor Sarah Lai is a pediatric surgeon in the United States. Lai wants the vaccine to protect her and her patients, but she's also seven months pregnant, and these shots weren't tested on pregnant people. I don't know if it's safe for me to have this vaccine. I don't know if it will be safe when I start breastfeeding um, to have the vaccine. Currently, the UK is advising those who are pregnant should not have Pfizer's vaccine. The US and Canada aren't recommending it either, but add vaccines could be offered to essential workers, for example, if a risk assessment finds the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the potential risks. That may mean to take the vaccine. That may mean to pass on the vaccine. Doctors say vaccines that use dead pieces of viruses can safely be given during pregnancy. New mRNA vaccines don't use the virus itself. They offer a short-lived set of genetic instructions to build that outer spike to alert the immune system. There's nothing so far that would lead us to say that this is a big risk. Typically, pregnant people are not included in the first round of vaccine trials, but a small number of participants in the Pfizer trial did become pregnant. Doctors say they haven't seen any serious side effects. But those people have not delivered their babies yet, so we don't know what happened with their fetuses yet. But so far, nothing that would be worrisome. A recent American study suggests the absolute risks of COVID-19 during pregnancy are low, but pregnant women were at significantly higher risk for severe outcomes compared with non-pregnant women. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's appropriate in a situation like this to have a blanket across the board recommendation either to do it or not to do it. But now it's just, there's just so many questions, you know. Lai says she's waiting for more data, but may get the vaccine after her baby is born in March. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.